Hi, welcome to another crankbait painting video. Uh, we're going to be painting a flat side coffin bill. A flat sided crankbait uh, does a, a tighter wobble through the water as opposed to a you know ra a more rounded, wider build deep diver. You know, it's got a bigger wobble. So, you know, possibly throw them something that they're not seeing that often. And show a different presentation and catch some fish with it. This is going to be fun. This is another bluegill type natural looking style. So, uh, first off, these blanks are not the highest quality. You know, these are from, I got these at Sugar Tit. There's a little roughness where the seams are. You might think, oh, that's going to be fine. But, you know, really, once you color this and put your clear coat on there, these little irregularities really show up and just make it look not so nice. So take some sandpaper. This is 220. We'll smooth out these imperfections here. Even under here, I mean. I know that matters, but we're there. Okay, then, as what I usually do, I take a Scotch Bright pad, scuff the whole thing up. Just to blow off the dust in case there's any dust left on there. And we'll tape this up. First off, we're going to do a base coat. This is a Ceram Coat Antique White. Um, this is acrylic paint from the craft store. I also use Golden High Flow Airbrush Reduced Paint. And this is Titan Buff. And as you can see from the jar, it's pretty much the same color. I've already thinned down the craft store paint with reducer. So it'll shoot just fine with the airbrush. I have a regulator with a water separator on it. Filter out any water that builds up in the compressor. In between coats, I usually rinse out the pot. This is just some airbrush cleaner that I've made out of uh, fantastic all-purpose cleaner and distilled water. I'm not going to show it every time. I'll edit it out from now on. So let's dry this off. Okay, now we're going to layer Createx Pearl White. whole body all right now createx transparent sunrise yellow just leaving the belly white covering the sides and everything with uh, sunrise yellow. It's a golden color. Wicked Detail Moss Green.
I'm going to thin this down with the little 4012 that I have in this squeeze bottle. That was four drops. I'm going to put one, two. That's 50%. Mix it with a brush, wipe the brush off, dry it. I just mix it right in the pot. I just wipe the brush off on my pants all the time. Okay, so we're gonna go over the back. Front. Coming around the eyes, the face, like that. Okay, I need to move this camera up. There, that's better. Okay, so I still have the moss green in the pot. I'm going to add transparent black mixed with the moss green. I'm just going to put two drops. Just mix it right in, right in there. It'll give us a black that has a little deep green. Okay, I need to dry this off now. Okay, now I have this stencil that I made. This is I made this out of uh, thin plastic, and I cut it with a stencil cutter, which is kind of like a soldering gun. It has a sharp tip, and you put this on a piece of glass. You cut out your pattern with the tip it just melts away the it doesn't melt the plastic it cuts it and then you have to kind of clean it up afterwards so um, I want this to give some texture here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this screen underneath the stencil and shoot our mixture to get the barred stripes here. I don't want to do it too heavy. Wipe this off. Now, and I have this black and moss green in here, so I'm going to darken up the back here. And I want to blend these stripes in down here on the sides, like this. And the eyes. Right in the eyes. right on the front and the tail okay my other airbrush we're going to use the wicked laguna blue for the blue gale part here on this lower part of the gill. Just right there. <clears throat> okay, I'll wipe my stuff. 
stencil off. Put this on this side. Good. Switch back to the brush that has the black and green in it. If you do the grill plate, Finally, we're going <clears> to <throat> spray some uh, Wicked Orange on the belly. Get it up a little higher here. I want to add some orange up the sides. Get this orange. Yeah, that looks good. Deepen it up a little bit right here. All right, let's dry it off. Those are just shiny, some shiny eyes. I goober. There. Okay. This time I'm going to go ahead and clear it. So I'm going to take the tape off the bill and I'll show you how I clear them. Let's clamp this on here. This is a UV resin. I bought it on Amazon. I just keep my brush. I use an artist brush. And I just keep the brush wrapped up in this foil so it can't get any light on it. And I, at first I tried dipping it. I felt like this is just, if you dip it, you have to wait forever for this UV resin to run off because it's pretty thick. This is, I don't know if, I tried one other Amazon you know another brand on Amazon and it was I wasn't happy with it it didn't really seem to get hard it felt tacky uh, I tried different wavelengths of light and um, I just then I tried this and I tried a small container at first and it worked great with a 365 wavelength UV light so I bought a quart of it and here we go I gotta use it up now so I just brush it on I gob on a bunch of it at first I try to make sure that I coat around the hook hangers seal those all up tight to the body uh, I get a little bit onto the bill make sure the paint is sealed I don't bother 
coating the bill. If it's a really bad looking bill, then yes, I will get a clear coat on it because it'll clear it up. But I don't want to affect the action of, of the bait by putting a bunch of this resin on the bill. Okay, so I've got tons of resin on here right now. I just want to make sure that I've got every square inch of this with resin. And then I actually use the brush to squeegee off the excess. And this stuff is very, very durable. You don't need a lot of it on there to protect your paint job. So I'm just taking off the excess. There's always kind of a pile of it. See that? There was a whole bunch of it right here. I've basically taken off the excess, but may or may not be even. So at this point, I hold it flat this way for several seconds. And I'll probably speed up the video right here so you don't have to wait. Then I flip it over, hold it this way for a while. It looks good. Okay, so at this point, I do have a light box. I have a UV light box that I made that's 365, uh, whatever you call it, you know, it's light spectrum. Get this excess out of here. I'm gonna hit it with this UV flashlight. This will start the curing process. So just in case I bump into something or if I'm doing more than one bait at a time, if I'm doing six baits at the same time, if they touch each other, they're not gonna stick together. Okay, we're done. You may like it lighter than this. You may like it darker than this. You may like more orange. You may want some red. That's part of the fun of painting your own baits is you can do whatever you want.